part number to start from Vico RG75K ionization gauge the vacuum gauge is based on the ionization of the gas molecules by constant flow of electrons the negative electrons are emitted at the well controlled selectable rate from heated filament that would be cathode and are accelerated towards positively charged wire grid and that would be anode. Electrons pass into the space enclosed by the grid, that would be spiral one. In this space the electrons collide with the gas molecules and then are in the vacuum system and produce positive ions. So the ion collector is near the ground level voltage. With respect to the grid and uh, the positive ions are formed they are directly proportional to density of molecules that we pressure in the gauge for pressures below approximately 1 times 10 to minus third of tor. Ok, let's go further with that. It is being called also a BA gauge which is a hot cathode gauge and is the most accurate continuous indicator for pressures below 1 times 10 to minus third of torque. So imagine that you have a tube that is open from one side and is connected to the vacuum system and then if you flip for the moment filament you actually are able to measure the ionization level of it and then it shows you an electrometer, simple like that. Terra Nova Scientific Model 906 convention gauge control has nothing to do with ions However, it is present in the system. Should measure from 0.1 mTOR to 995 TOR. The bell jar vacuum systems are very much similar to the electron microscope vacuum systems and they differ between themselves very little. Some of them use cold water for the diffusion pump, some of them not. And uh, a the higher level of the electron microscope use a pure ion pump which is kind of variation of the diffusion pump by itself even in a high vacuum chamber you still have a diffusion pump present then you have a vent chamber shown here and the construction wrapping chamber pointed on the same I'm not gonna go to the details right now and high vacuum chamber with some explanation Good. okay okay after running it at high vacuum we mm -hmm. turned off the diffusion pump right and we left it on a standby for okay. at least a half hour so the diffusion pump okay. could cool down right now it has cooled down for at least a half hour we can go back to the right, we can vent, which means we're going to let air into the bell jar, uh -huh. and when it reaches atmospheric pressure, then we can turn the system off and remove the bell jar. Beautiful. And there we are. Take the bell jar out, and then put the bell jar in, and put the vacuum in. Wow. Now I've got this box, this crate right here. We'll pack it in here if we have to. If we have to. Yeah. I think for right now I'm just going to leave it. Yeah, it's going to be safer on the machine. Uh, yes. Agreed. Yeah. yeah. And in the meantime, I'm going to put something over that just yeah, so yeah, nothing yeah. falls. And... I'm gonna say a few words to Dick. Dick, this is the nice gentleman that let me have this piece of beauty. That's correct.
It was a bargain. Yeah, it was a bargain. No doubt about it. Yeah. Yeah. One beautiful thing about you is bosses in New York, mostly they have a people doing something for them and you know the theory, you know the practice and you know how to operate everything. A little bit. Is the pallet gonna fit? I'm gonna measure it. Smell like this. Ooh, boy, right there. It's gonna really be tight. Okay, I'm gonna bend the door a little bit. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, and I'm gonna go outside. A little bit more, that yeah, good. well, I would try. Normally they have a detachable thing right here. Yeah, but uh, beauty of the beast. That's right. I can see the left side. Hey, you are okay. Go up. Okay. Go up. Stop. Go in. Yeah, you're good. You're good. Okay, I'm gonna have to stop here. For stop here. You are the man. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. You are the man. We did it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.